I'll start off with Sean and David from Storia. Hi, guys. Okay. Hi, good, thanks. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Can you be quiet in the back, please? Thank you. It's like being in school. Um, Gareth, <laughs> great to see you. I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say you gave us a bit of a fright today, but it sounds like you're all good. What's the situation? Uh, no, obviously, um, after training, I have my kind of routines and, yeah, um, when we have the press conference at the Veil, vale, it's very convenient. I can do it and then do my do my stuff, what I need to do to get ready for the game. So obviously having to probably take two hours out of my day to go to the stadium, um, yeah, didn't quite work. So um, yeah, I spoke with IG and we, we managed to do it this way. So apologies, but um, unfortunately the game comes first. <laughs> Connor's told us that we've already got the budget, Gareth Bale in person. <laughs> um, Gareth, tomorrow's been described as the biggest game in the history of Welsh football. Is it the biggest game of your career? Um, it's a big game. Uh, it's difficult to put it into whether it's the big game. Obviously, we played in a semi-final of a, of a European Championship, so... Um, it's a massive game. I think there's there's no hiding it. Um, we haven't qualified for World Cup ever in a in a proper way. Um, we've only ever played in one World Cup, so this is a stepping stone that that all of us want to take to play on the biggest level. And um, yeah, we we have a massive game tomorrow that that we're desperate to win and uh, to achieve our goal. When we've spoken to you guys this week, everyone seems so relaxed. Everyone seems like they're in a really good mood. How do you? prepare for tomorrow like any other normal game of football and it's fair to say it's it's anything but a normal game Gareth. Yeah we we all have our own routines like I have mine today um, I try to stick to it um, everybody has their own ways of dealing with things but as a team we've we've just gone about it as normal um, normal training we have our game plans we work on things in training um, yeah we just have to to take it in our stride we have to um, obviously we understand the game is massive but it's a game of football that we we need to perform and play well and and that's what we're concentrating to try and do Gareth, the fact that you're at home tomorrow how massive is that going to be because i think it's fair to say the welsh fans the red wall could really be what what gets you over the line yes yeah, it's, it's huge um we love playing at home and uh love playing in front of our fans i think it's it's a cauldron for us we we love the atmosphere that what the, the the fans create intimidates the other teams and um, yeah it, it kind of they really are our twelfth man and and when we are feeling tired they they sing the anthem they get behind us and, and give us those extra energy levels that that we need and um, yeah it's been it's been amazing for us. Last one from me. I know it's a big question, but is it? possible to put into words how you'll feel if that final whistle comes tomorrow and, and you guys have finally done it, you're off to Qatar? <laughs> um, yeah, obviously we, we, would, we can't wait to do that, but yeah, we, we have to, to focus on the here and now and, and what we need to do first. We can't get carried away with, with um, looking to if, we, if we're going to win and qualify. We, we have to concentrate on, on this difficult game. Um, yeah, not to get carried away. We, we've got enough experience in the squad to, to not do that. And, and the ones who maybe start to sneak off, we, we can bring them back down to earth and uh, make sure they're ready and, and, and raring to go come kick off. Thank you. Hi, Gareth. Hi. Hello. Um, you've played in so many huge matches for club and country, but perhaps never in a game like this where there's been so much emotion around it, you know, playing a team whose country is at war with one of its neighbours. So how is that going to feel? And also knowing that you'll have to be the most unpopular team on earth really tomorrow to, to deny Ukraine a place in the World Cup. But we'll be the most popular team in the stadium. So that's the main thing. Um, now, we understand what uh, an awful thing is going on in, in Ukraine. Um, our hearts and, and everything goes out to, to the kids, the families, the people of Ukraine. And yeah, we've all felt awful during this time and, and not really been able to do too much. Um, yeah, but come come tomorrow, it's a game of football. Um, football is on the line and, and we want to win and, and, and that's the only thing. You just want to 
fifth Champions League medal. You've played at two European Championship finals, but you've never got to the World Cup as a player. How much of an incentive is that for you? You've always talked about that being the, the, the one thing missing from your CV. How desperate are you to do it? Yeah, well, it is missing. It's it's not there. So, um, yeah, everybody, we're, we're all massively motivated to, to qualify for the World Cup. We've we've put ourselves in with a great chance. Um, one game to go. We know it's going to be a difficult game against a difficult team. Um, and we have utmost respect for them. But, yeah, it's all on the line come tomorrow. And um, we will give everything, like like I've said. But, but for you, you know, you've been among that bracket of the very best players in the, in the world over the last 10 years. You know, you see the likes of the Benzema's, the Messi's, the Ronaldo's at World Cups. You would see them at the World Cup. You must be desperate to be there with them as, as one of the other top players in the world, Gareth. Yeah, of course. And, and like I said, it's, it's still missing. And, and we, have a, we have a game tomorrow to put that to bed and, and qualify. Um, yeah, everyone wants to play in the World Cup and it's no different for me, no different for, for every member in, in this squad, every coach, every staff member. We're all working towards one goal and, and that's trying to win the game tomorrow. Does your future in football depend on this one game? Not necessarily, no. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, like I've said many a time before, I'm, I'm not concentrating on, on what lies ahead in the future. I, we have a, a massive game tomorrow that all my focus is on and I really don't need to think about or worry about anything else and, and I have no other worries other than, than tomorrow's game. Because you've said... That's best in there, sorry. Um, on a small ref from Oxford. Hi, hey, Gareth. You guys, um, that when you look back to the games over the years at the stadium, is there an atmosphere that you'd like to recreate tomorrow amongst the fans? Um, Every game that we play at home is incredible, um, especially when it's a big game. The, the fans never, never, ever let us down. So um, they'll do their thing tomorrow like they always do. The atmosphere will be in, incredible. And um, like always, we'll give 110% on the pitch like we always do. So uh, we're a nation that's united and um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go come kick off tomorrow. Is there one that stands out for you though? Um, not really. There's so many that have been so good with the atmosphere. It's it's difficult to pinpoint, but um, I'm sure tomorrow will be a, another a great atmosphere. And like I said, we'll be ready to go as, as well as the fans can kick off. It's been fascinating over the last few years watching you, you know, not playing as much as you would like to play, but then coming into Wales and performing at such a high level. What has it taken over the last few years for you to continue to do that? Not much. I just feel like I have to turn up and, and, and do what I know I can do, whether it be for club or country. I think when, I'm, when I get myself on the pitch and I, and I feel happy, I'm able to produce my best stuff. So um, hopefully that's the same again tomorrow. And, um, but the most important thing, even if I play terrible tomorrow, as long as we win, I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a possibility that you wouldn't sign for anyone who goes to the World Cup just as Gareth Bale? Um, I think that's very unlikely, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, and just finally, for me, just watching the, of the team out in Poland, life after Gareth Bale after this World Cup, does it look positive for Wales? Yeah, I think I think the the, the future of Welsh football is is in good hands. I think um, yeah, what we've what we've done with the youngsters coming through, we've like the like they did with us coming through, we've we've kind of built that character, built that. Um, kind of team bond that the, the youngsters now will will pass on to the, ne the next generation below them. So, uh, no, the future Welsh football is in good hands. Um, yeah, obviously, we're still a part of it at the moment. So um, we'll still concentrate on the, the here and now. But uh, yeah, Welsh football is, is, is in good hands in the future. Thank you very much. Okay, Gareth, um, you have one of your greatest ever nights in, in Kiev in Ukraine. Um, what are your reflections on that night? And when you've been, you know, had such a great night there, when, when the events happen, the Russian debate, does that sort of bring it home to you even more that you've been there and you've experienced that place? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's surreal, obviously, knowing that you've, that you've been to, to Kiev itself and, and Ukraine. But um, yeah, just, just uh, seeing the pictures and, and reading about what's going on is, is heartbreaking. And um, I think we've all said before, we, nobody wants a war to happen. And, we still don't want it to happen. We want it to stop as soon as possible because 
yeah, there's there's so many people, families, kids that are just stuck there and can't do anything. It's it's uh, it's a horrible situation. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's it's still difficult to talk about now because it's it's still going on as we speak. And um, yeah, we obviously we all hope it comes to a, to a stop as soon as possible. It's pretty obvious, but um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Less obvious than where I want to go. Um, no, just just obviously winning the Champions League. There it was it was a great night. Um, scored a, an okay goal, and yeah, it was um, yeah, it was a great night. But yeah, it's uh, like I said, it, it's 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 not nice when you you think what's going on in that in in that country now in that um, city, and um, yeah, it's just it's not nice to think about. Hi, Gareth. It's uh, Tom Hopkinson from the Sunday Mirror. Uh, just, just one from me. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about how you and Aaron and Ben and the rest of the senior players have helped the younger lads with the emotion of everything that's going on around the game this week? Um, we haven't necessarily helped them. I think we've we've all just treated it like like a normal camp, like a normal game, like we normally do. So. Yeah, I don't think we've had to do too much. I think we we've had enough big games as a as a team now to to realise that we we just need to treat games as normally uh, as normal, prepare as normal, and yeah, we understand it's a big game, but at the end of the day, it's it's just a game of football. So um, yeah, we we haven't had to do too much, but um, I'm sure a few words will be said before the game tomorrow to to calm nerves down a bit and um, yeah, put things into to perspective. Hi, uh, Rob Harris from Associated Press. Um, do you think almost you'd be apologising to Ukraine if you do go beat them tomorrow, knowing how many people are trying to urge them to get to the World Cup? And you'd be the one sort of ending the hope. Um, as horrible as it sounds, no, because it's a game of football and, and it's a competition that, that we want to get to as well. I think, um, like I've said, we we everybody in the whole world feels feels for Ukraine, but. Um, but for this game, it's a game of football, it's a competition, um, it's sport, it unites everybody. We understand what it would do for Ukraine, but we, we want to we wanna get to the World Cup. And um, it's not coming from a horrible place, but it's coming from our, our country, our heart. Um, we want to we wanna deliver for our own fans and um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do tomorrow night. And finally, have you, have you got a stack of offers that you've got on the table for next season? Have you sort of told your agent, don't give them to you yet? Yeah, I've got loads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And on that note, I think this is a session. Uh, Jeff, I wish I'd ever snap for the Ukraine one now. Thank you. Thank you.